Yeah, go ahead. Dave, I guess, what, um, what does it do to you guys focus-wise when you, you learn your goalie is not going to be able to play pretty early before the game? And that, I mean, it, yeah, it was a surprise because we didn't know about it earlier, but um, other than that, it didn't change anything. JoJo's played great. Uh, you know, he's had to come in because of obviously Kemp's equipment issues a few games ago, and then you know I start the other day and play really well. So um, that was not the issue. That wasn't a mental thing, but um, the issue was we just didn't play good enough. Yeah. In what areas did you guys kind of feel like you were lacking, especially after you got up within one and then they went on? Around? Yeah, I mean at that point we've at that point we were cooking pretty good um you know we have a two-on-one from the red line in we have a partial breakaway uh that don't go in and then right after they just kind of score on a kind of innocent play from from the outside but um yeah so at that point there you know we were we were going pretty good and then but it's the before part and the after part that wasn't very good and and especially the before part and you know, start of the game um it was only three, three nothing, but uh, could have been a lot more if it wasn't for JoJo. And and we were just we were giving up way too many scoring chances from inside the slot. And and we know these guys are a good, really good offensive team and and a skilled team that'll find those open areas in that slot. And, and especially with some late shooters. So yeah, we as good as you guys may or may not be, is it kind of good that know that you're sort of a measuring stick here tonight against a really good team oh yeah yeah and i i think i mean you're only as good as uh, as you play and tonight we didn't play very good so we're not a very good hockey team tonight but we know that we can be uh, and tonight it's just a it's just a good um reality check that when we don't put the work in and when we're when we don't prioritize our defensive game and and our d zone coverage then you know we're going to give up a lot more goals than we can score. So um, that's the reality of it. And and that's where we find our success is when we do good things in the D zone and that translates into ozone and being tough to play against. But tonight we were easy to play against. Knowing the importance of a position, obviously the goalie position, do you treat an injury like that the same way you would any other player where you just move on with who you have? Or is it a little more concerning knowing that you guys play a ton in December and your starting goal just went down? Yeah, no, I mean... Yes and no. I mean, we want anybody that goes down, we want them to come back as soon as possible and want these guys to be healthy and, and their, their teammates and good friends in there. And, and we need everybody to be successful, whether that's your starting goaltender or your seventh defenseman. So, um, but yeah, obviously when, when you're starting goaltender, it can be a little bit more, um, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, but um, it, it can affect some people probably more than others. Um, in, in a different way when it's your starting goaltender, but we have all the faith in the world in JoJo. JoJo is a very elite goaltender and just had a tough night tonight, and and that wasn't because of him. Um, you know, we just didn't play good enough in front of him, and uh, when you get in a hole like that, I'm sure as a goaltender, um, it's tough knowing that you have to play tomorrow again. And and uh, but we got to make sure we we bounce back, and uh, it's a good time to do it tomorrow night. How do you feel about Nate and his return back? Uh, I thought he looked good, you know, other than his toe pick in the first period, I thought he, he looked like himself and um, he looked good. So it's not easy to come back and, you know, play almost 20 minutes right away as a center against a, a tough matchup in this building. So, um, but that's Nate for you. And, and I'm sure he's just going to keep getting better and better. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, you. Appreciate it. I thought it was the blue line that got him big. When did you get um, the sense that Darcy might not be able to go and you got the sense of how that injury is? Um, I don't have the sense of how severe it is, but I found out after morning skate, like after I did this and everything, went back in and I'd say, well, I don't know, 30 minutes after that, I found out. Did, um, did you kind of feel like it was with Eustace getting in late and everything? Was this a situation where you just couldn't pull JJ? Yeah, I, was, I, I wasn't. I'm not putting Eustace in that in his first NHL game. I mean, he flew and he got in, I don't even know the time after, seven, by the time he landed. So um, he didn't even get to the rink you know, on time for the game and no warm-up. And I, I wasn't putting him in that situation. Yeah. 
If Kemper was not able to back up, is he going to fly home or is he going to stay on the trip with you? Uh, I'd say stay on the trip for now. I haven't, you know, I think we got to keep an eye on him here for a couple of days and see how it plays out. Is there, I mean, I, I know it's hard to say initially, but is it concerned it could be a longer term injury? Is this probably a. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I don't know. Overall, overall thoughts on the game. Obviously, you guys didn't have a great start, and they did. And yeah. then they got three on you early. Yeah, bad start. Um, I don't want to say it's just battle because it's not. There, our habits in our game were not good to start. And um, a lot of loop in our game. We're getting beat off the walls all over the place in our own zone. So player A goes at their player A, they move it, and then their player A is beating us back to the net. And they, I, I, I countless scoring chances against that way, starting in the first period. Um, so that's just a determination by them. It's a lack of commitment by us. And, um, yeah, so they – and then I thought second period, you know, we get the goal, gives us a little bit of life at the end of the first, and, and our, I, I liked their second a lot. I liked it a lot. I thought we were getting back in our game. We make it 3-2. We get the, I think, breakaway by Gerard, partial breakaway by Gerard. We get the two-on-one with OC. We miss on a couple of those chances. It could have squared the game up, and next thing you know, we're going in 5-2. Five to five to two. You know, and I thought we outplayed him in the second. We were playing in the right end of the rink, and we still lost that period. And from then, it was going to be a, a tough one with one period to go down 5-2. We didn't respond the right way in the third either. All things considered, how do you think Johansson played? Oh, he wasn't good. Yeah, yeah, wasn't good. Their, their goalie was good. We didn't test him enough in the first or in the third, but like he, he had a pretty good night, and – our guy probably had a night he'd like to forget. How do you feel about Nate's return? It was okay. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, I thought their their top six were humming. So, you know, I'm not putting it on our top six, but it's on our whole team. But we, we they they were humming and they were playing well, and so it was a lot lot for our guys to handle. I think I didn't think a handful of those guys had a very good night. Is Anion in a possible starter tomorrow, or are you, are you going back with Joe Hanson? Yeah, I'm gonna think about that. Yeah, I'll I'll talk to Joe and tonight and see what he thinks and talk with our coaching staff. I haven't got that far yet. I know it's not an end all be all stat, but at any point, do you get concerned over the face off discrepancy when you 30, 35 percent draws? Too off. Yeah, only. And they capitalize on him and it puts us in tough situations. Like I didn't, I thought, um, which game was it? Dallas. We, they were snapping every puck back. So you're chasing the game right away. Like you want to play with the puck. And, um, and I didn't like our, some of the things we were doing off the faceoffs either. Like we look slow to jump on when, when they got it, we looked uh, slow to transition when we, when we did win some, they scored the ozone face off goal. They put us, you know, in D zone coverage for a while with with winning the draws and and putting some shots to the net, beating us there. So um, I, I'm not I'm not concerned if it happens every once in a while uh, because sometimes you run into a guy that you're matched up against and you can have a tough night. But like if it's happening game after game, then it's like to me we we have to try and fix it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff.